Well, I said we had a, a solid start in the last episode. I'm going to say the same again. I think we're, we're going quite solidly. We're, we're mid-table at the moment. Again, quite hard done by not being in the playoffs, in my opinion. And we've made a couple of sign-ins, and hopefully we're going to be able to push for the playoffs. We're going to play, play my old club, Gateshead, today. Not old club from this series, but old club from last year that we took all the way to League One. So hopefully... Uh, we can do the same with Boston before we leave in two years' time, but you never know with these things, but Gateshead are a good side, but generally we're looking to uh, push on and uh, get some points on the board and solidify our position in the table. I don't really know what I'm rambling on about anymore, to be honest. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 3 of Season 4 of The Journeyman with Boston United. And today we have two matches, one against Gateshead, one against Tranmere. And um, transfer-wise, I'm not actually sure we've we've made any new signings, but uh, no, we have. We have. We've signed a new goalkeeper, uh, Jamie Stevens. Uh, he used to play for Barnet uh, quite a few years ago. He, he was a Liverpool youngster. He's played at Newport County. He's played at Barnet. Um, he's he's had 15 clean sheets in League Two at this um, in this save. He's been playing in the National League the last season. He's come in. He's already got a clean sheet for us. So I think that's a good sign and and a new number one goalkeeper to look forward to. Uh, we've also signed Danny Cart on loan from Port Vale. Unfortunately, he's injured at the moment, but uh, he looks like a good little striker. He's a, he's a poacher. He's as good as Ronnie Wilde, apparently, so we'll just have to see. And we've also brought in Brett Taylor on loan from... Uh, no, we haven't. We've brought in Brett Taylor. I think the the... Um, assistants brought him in. Carl Piagiani has gone to Bishop Stortford. Uh, he played a, a few games for us last year. He did all right. I think he did his job, and he, he's gone on his way again. So that's fair enough from him. Um, but we're playing. Oh, we should have a look at the last few matches since the last episode, which was the Solihull Motors uh, or Moors one-one draw. We then. Uh, oh, actually, in Ebsley. We, well, we beat Macclesfield Town three-one with Keith Kavanagh, uh, Kabongo, and Adam Marriott scoring there. That was a good performance. And then we drew nil-nil against Forest Green Rovers. So I don't know quite what I expect today. We're going into it having only won two of our opening eight games. But drawn five of them, only lost one so far. Uh, we've got a positive goal difference. If we can win both games today, we're going to be in the playoffs. Gateshead are up in fourth. Tranmere are down in 19th. So we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, that's what the dynamics looks like right now. I'm assuming the match cohesion is going down simply because we've got uh, new players at the club. Anyway, let's have a look at the team. We've got uh, Jamie Stevens in goal. We've got Seaman Parker, uh, Maislin Jones, and Nugent in def defence. I beg your pardon. Uh, Kavanagh in the anchorman role with Adam Chapman and Alex Ray Harvey in the, the midfield. And Adel Nabi behind Kabongo and Phil Mitchell, who makes his return up front. So, yeah, Phil Mitchell hasn't played for a long while. It's it's certainly going to be an interesting one. I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, but Kabongo and, and Phil Mitchell had such a good partnership last season. I'm going to give him a chance. If he does really well today, then he's going to play a, a big part uh, of our season, probably. But if he does terribly today, then... It might be his last appearance for the club. I just have been struggling to find a striker that will score a load of goals. And I thought, you know what? We haven't tried Phil Mitchell at this level yet. So we'll give him a chance and we'll see what he's made of at National League level. Here's Chapman. Now to Harvey. That's forward again to Phil Mitchell, who's had a couple of touches so far. And he looked all right. Um, 
we're just going to have to see what he's like in front of goal. But he is a good finisher, and that is one of his strongest sort of attributes, is, is finishing. And um, <clears throat> if he can finish uh, in the National League, then he's going to be a, a, a hot prospect for this season. He has Kavanaugh with the free kick just over the bar. Um, after some of the ones he's belted in this season, I was half expecting that to go in the top corner, but we've we've held Gateshead so far. They haven't had a highlight, touch wood. Um, and, we, well, here we go. This is where they score, isn't it? Nash with a shot over the bar. Um, we've sort of held our own against them, and we definitely look comfortable at this level it has to be said We'd, we don't look out of our depth here's Kabongo with a chance to post one nil up and a good save by Landers there um no I think I, I think we're, we're in for a good season here Harvey into the middle Vassell away Kavanaugh with another long range effort just over the bar uh coming in at half time it's going to be nil nil um but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens when we get to the point where we start losing games because we're not going to keep this unbeaten streak up forever. The only team we've lost against so far is uh, Newport, not Newport, Notts County, who've won every single game so far, although they look like they're behind today, which is interesting. Here's Phil Mitchell. Phil Mitchell on the ball now to Chapman. Gets it wide to Seaman. Oh, I thought that was a chance. <clears throat> so who are Notts County playing today? Oh, they're 3-0 up, so they have lost a game this season. They're playing Tranmere today, so hopefully they'll give them a good stuffing and then uh, they'll be demoralised for the next match. Maslin Jones on the ball. Kabongo, what a goal that is! And it's 1-0, and it is Kabongo with the goal. Ever reliable. Maslin Jones with the assist. Um... Harvey with the initial pass, then a partner, and then it was Maslin Jones with a nice little ball through, and Kabongo puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1-0. That is what we're talking about, and, and we can be really, really pleased with that. Um, yeah, let's see how things are going. 65 minutes gone. I think uh, Phil Mitchell... Mm, I'm not sure. We're going to bring Harry Vince on for Nabby. Nabby's been questionable at best we're going to bring Fox on as well uh, and play him as a deep line playmaker for Adam Chapman uh, and we'll see what those two sort of substitutions um, do to the game now Adam Marriott's been a very good impact substitution this season so if we bring him on now Shuley's going to go and score <laughs> um, we're going to actually play him as a poacher. We haven't tried him in that role yet, so we'll see how he does on that. 15 minutes to go here. This is the sort of period where we've been throwing matches away, so hopefully we we don't do it again. Um, we're going to just say uh, concentrate to everybody, and hopefully that'll get people to concentrate. That's what we that's what we want to see. But we're into the 90th minute now. We're going to go uh, contain. I'm going to try and hold on to this, although it is a highlight. Here's Wilding. That's forward. Kavanagh. Boot it, son. Boot it. Oh, Stevens away. Here's Vince. This is a chance for us. Kabongo. Now to Fox. Harvey. Harvey. Vince. Kabongo. Off the post. Here's Fox. Can we get another bite of the cherry? We can't, but I think that's end of highlight. Oh... Landers, we've got a minute to hang on here. It's gone straight to their player, Heath. Now to Nash. Oh no, Maslin Jones gets it away. Brilliant stuff from him. <clears throat> Holden, Kavanaugh away into the middle again. It's Wilding. It's a good save from Jamie Stevens. Come on, you beauty. And it looks like we might just about hang on. We've got 20 seconds to go here. Marriott's uh, fouled Vassell. We've got five seconds to hang on. Surely the ref's going to blow the whistle. There it is. 1-0 against Gateshead. That's a terrific result. They were in fourth place at the start of the game. We've managed to hang on. We've looked solid. Very, very solid defensively, I'd say. We had that wobble at the end, but Jamie Stevens came up trumps. 
and uh, and got that save there. So that's a very, very good victory. We're up to 11th in the league, 14 points. We're, we're tied for 5th place at the moment. The only thing keeping us off there is goal difference. So surely, if we go on and beat Tranmere, we'll be in that 5th place. Well, you know what? I think we've got the luxury of going for a, a, an unchanged side here. Um, I don't see any, cha- any need to... Uh, to make any changes to to this settled side, so why don't we why don't we get into it? Um, yeah, uh, Tranmere Rovers absolutely stuffed by Notts County in the last game, so hopefully um, hopefully they're not feeling too confident going into this one. But it is incredibly tight at the moment, and um, <clears throat> a couple of, of victories or defeats. Um, whichever way that goes, could turn around our season. You know, a couple of victories and we're starting to look like true playoff contenders. A couple of defeats and, you know, we're, we're sort of uh, looking like we we just had a bit of a fluky start. But look at Gateshead, 2-0 down already. Uh, oops, here's Nugent. Forward to Kevin and Nugent on the ball. Can he get in? He can. But here's Harvey. Harvey on the ball. Can he get it wide again? Here's Nugent. Nugent to Chapman. Chapman on the ball to Nabby. Here's Kabongo. Can he get through to Phil Mitchell? Ooh, he went it alone and missed. That was a that was a half chance for us there. Here's Sadie. Sadie on the ball. All the way to Tollett. Oh, that's for to Colburn. It's 1-0. That was too easy. Too easy. And it was all caused by Kabongo being selfish. And just not. Not thinking about Phil Mitchell, who was just ahead um, in the field and probably would have put it in the back of the net. So that's not good. Uh, Callum Dolan playing for Gateshead. Goodness me, that's a blast from the past. We had him at, was it Curzon Ashton? I might be wrong. We might have had him here at Boston. Um, but, but Callum Dolan playing for Gateshead now and... He's just scored, so maybe he's found his level. Anyway, let's uh, let's give them a good old rollicking. Um, yeah, Nabby's not not the best, is he? So let's bring on Harry Vince, and let's bring on Adam Marriott, and see how that goes. Hopefully, we can get back into this because I think we, you know. Just made that one little mistake. I know that's enough sometimes at this level, but hopefully we can we can turn it around and uh, and do something good. Anyway, that's forward. That's away. Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! I wasn't expecting that. It is a penalty, and it's going to be Adam Chapman to take it. Here he goes. Come on, Adam. The captain. Steps up and puts it in the top right corner. It's one all. Adam Chapman with his first goal of the season. And what an important goal that could be. What a penalty that is. That is fantastic from Adam Chapman. That's what we're talking about. Gateshead back to 2-2 in their match as well. Wes York scoring for them there. Uh, 60 minutes gone now. What do we do? Phil Mitchell not having the best of games. But we don't really have... Any sort of replacement for him. Um, I guess the the one decision we could make is bring Kavanagh off, move Adam Chapman there, bring on Fox as a, a supporting deep line player maker, and do that. We're going to be a bit more expressive, uh, pump the ball into the box towards Phil Mitchell, and hopefully that will work out for us. So, 65 minutes gone. We definitely take a draw here. Although here's Wallace. Sadie, good save by Stevens. Uh, good solid save. Well, this last 20 minutes we do have a chance. Let's um, encourage them. Oh, we'll watch this highlight, see how it goes. I'm ho- oh, it's oh yeah, it is a penalty. Uh, come on, Jamie Stevens. Come on, boy. Uh, 
Dunn versus Stevens. Oh, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. And now we have to go and get back into this game now. There's no points sitting back. So we're going to go for our usual attack, attack, attack. Um, push higher up. Do all of this. Um, close down much more. And see if we can get back into this straight away. Jack Dunn with his third goal of the season. That penalty there. Stevens went the right way. Just couldn't quite get a hand to it. Very unlucky. Uh, but 10 minutes to go. Are we on course for our second defeat of the season? And it's frustrating because we beat Gateshead. And now Tranmere, who was stuffed in the last game against Notts County, have come back with a good performance today. And we just haven't had a look in since that penalty. Uh, unless Park I can get forward, he can't. It's full time. We've lost. You know, Tranmere are probably underperforming. Um, and we would have probably took that result earlier in the season. But it's disappointing because we could have got into the playoffs there. Um, but alas, we lose. And that's our second defeat of the season. And it kind of keeps our feet on the ground in terms of what we can achieve this year. I think we'll be safe from relegation by the looks of it. But we do need to, to start kicking on and, and turn some of those draws into wins before we get to the stage where... We're slipping down this table. We're six points clear of relegation, so we are still closer to the uh, playoffs. I mean, Notts County have lost another game. Solf had an out top of the table, so shows how much I know. Anyway, uh, when are we going to come back? I tell you what, that Nantwich game is looking quite uh, tempting, although I think what we'll do is we'll do Boreham Wood and we'll do the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup, and I'll play those three games off camera. And, uh, and hopefully I'll come back with some positive news. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. really does help out the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.